Hi guys, good morning. <clears throat> and it is good morning, as you see up here. This is the SSD where I built Cardi. So the ISO is never going to change. That's the ISO I've used to build this operating system. And then we do our thing with it. So there's Carly 12 here. And the Arch ISO has been changed. Look at the date. At the beginning of every month, there is a new Arch ISO, an Arch Linux ISO. And there might be a new Arch ISO script or package. So if you do a rip, it's probably going to be in there somewhere, the Arch ISO script. And if that's too long to check, you do pipe it through and see like this. So 71-1, that's the one that came in. This is information for the ISO builders, for nobody else but the ISO builders, people who build the Arclix XL, the D, the Bs, the LCIs, the risers, Arch Linux itself, right? You have now this tool, the AAG, to build it yourself, and you know that's gonna be using the Relen where in the user share arch ISO. So this one. That is 71. Now the problem is I see already. <laughs> what I want to do in this video is open folder as root and keeping track over time. You do that by copy pasting this guy, control C, control V and see what version it is, add what version it is. So I think I thought it was 71-1. Quick test again, pseudo pacman minus s arch iso or i behind it. All I need to know is the version number. Okay, no. So that's cool. This new code is 71 1. But I need to downgrade it to see the difference again because there is no other reference here. So there is downgrade and there's downgrade. So downgrade is the official package and downgrade is the A from Arclix. So pseudo downgrade arch ISO is going to ask what version do you want? We want previous version 70. You say yes, sure. Ignore no, right? We want to use, keep using, or will use the new one. If you're stuck with a problem, that's your solution. Go back one version if you say I can't build ISOs because 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 right you just downgrade and keep at that particular version and you'll be fine there's no need to follow if you don't want to follow so this version this code that I have now is 71 right so now now you can do a compare but first off I'm gonna update the system so the new stuff comes in again, so that we're working with new code. Now, this is interesting being root, but now it's finished. So go out and don't make mistakes and make sure that you by accident do not change anything in there because it all matters. So this is the new stuff. And we can first, that's the first thing you should do, I think, is compare and then say, what, dif what the difference between last month? And you follow it month by month, not six months ago and 12 months ago, no. Each time there's a new Arch ISO, you have a look. And you say, oh yeah, multicast DNS, yes, looks like a good thing, right? DCP, yes. So these elements, these changes, you go over them and say, I'll try. I'll add them to my config or not. It's up to you. Now, let me see. File filters, everything is on, right? I'm not interested in everything. I just want to know the differences. And these are all 4433, three, fine. And here we have another difference where they're using the user ID. Now, this is actually not fair in the sense that what I've done prior to this video, 
Let's see if I can open Vivaldi. Not, yeah, Vivaldi is present. Cours d'anglais. Look at that. What's all that? Right. So if you go to GitHub, Arch, Linux, and Arch ISO, I've already read quite a bit of information prior to this video. What you do is well, this is my structure. I'm not imposing my structure onto you. But what I do on my other machine, I have a projects folder. And then I have a GitHub folder. Maybe you can have a GitLab uh, as well. And then in here, I'm going to git clone Arch ISO. And it's much easier to read here what changed then reading it online much much easier much faster so I've read all that I read everything all of it what changed since last arch ISO why did it change and we don't need the details I mean we really don't need the very specific things but a few lines explain why things have changed and what's the purpose of the change you read this not here but locally and then decide what should you do so compare again so this explains all these changes and of course this one we know we've made three videos about it so community testing is out community is out and we replace everything with extra testing and extra and core testing. These are the changes we've made videos about, three changes here. Okay, This we know because of the videos we've made. But here as well, they're making some kind of choice to be some kind of experimental packaging. So do you follow or will you not follow? And that's the advantage of having other projects, other what ifs. We can test this in Carly. We can test this in ALCI, see what happens. And then later on, if everything is well, follow the code in Arco. So it is not, not always, it's prudent. It's prudent to test things out. As simple as that. If you don't know what's going on, what's all, what this all is, right? You just say, I'm gonna test. I'm gonna run behind a month. Why not? I'm gonna run behind the Arch Linux developers and say, let them test it. If it's good, then it will stay in. If it's not good, next month it will go out again, right? So all of these changes have been created. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change all of that. You see some classes, memtas, test class there, class EFI and so on. Some of the things, okay, no problem. I can immediately go forward with that. And other things you say, hmm, maybe not, right? Choices, it's all about choices. Here, they decide to choose a Lego block, Lego block for foot, which is a terminal, and for a West term. So what I've read is for the people who connect with SSH. Do I do that? No. Should I do that? No. <laughs> do you need to do it? Up to you. So that's all the changes. Which means, if I want to change Carly, my workflow is Ctrl C, put it on the desktop, and there is already something there, delete, Ctrl V, and then I need to compare with Carly 12. So super F5, I want to compare a folder, super F, which folder? The original one is here. Relang goes in here. I go to Carly 12, and here is our same structure, but different. So you go in here. The right, this is workflow, right? You choose your own workflow. The right is for me the original one, and the left is the input from left to right. Compare. And then we try to be smart, right? All of the things that are not on the left 
I have decided to add. I want to have a crop. I want to have a make in it CPIO. I want to have a hook, etc. etc. So all these things are skip, but the blue ones, that's a new line. In order to solve some issues with connection, right? DNS, domain name servers. Okay, so we say, hmm, might be interesting for people to have internet. So you put it in there. Resolved archiso.conf. Let's put it in there as well. Copy to the right. So Bluetooth and all that, that's uh, for me. I want to have that. Host name is archiso. No, it's Carly. Make in its cpo.conf. We like ZST compression better choice password a live user is there shadow a live user is there root this was changed also because of internet problems so there's no synchronization for network availability before executing the script and so on and so on so please note and so on accept accept files are identical Safe. I seem to have clicked this thing to us too close, but all right, let's solve that. EFI was a different label. We have a label here. I have to watch out. All of that. Control C. There is no device here, I guess the label is going to be abandoned and my story ends here. Control V. I want to keep my cow space and the copy to RAM. But we're going to use the arch ISO UU ID or something about unique universal ID something you google it just the number same here and it's exactly the same thing but to be sure I'm gonna control C it anyway and then this one with the space control V Accessibility is on, cost space, copy to RAM. Okay, save. Sure. Grub, what did they change? Well, we, we're not calling it Archlinks, we're calling it Carly. And there are some classes. Nope, not here. Here we have the device 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 user ID is already there so that's extra Carly cow space I think we don't need to change anything except here we go class GNU class memtest class GNU and there is a another memtest in between this one memtest that's it. And here we have an extra class, which means we can click here and here. And then the menu entry, we like it to be the other way around. So first restart, then power off, not this order of things. And I think that is it. And we stop. And we save. Arch ISO hat. That's true. Any changes? Here we have changes again. Device. Control C, which means it starts here, it ends there. Control V. And done. It's, it's changed. Eh? Anything else except the Arch Linux and Carly? That's the only thing I changed, the name. Nope. We're good. Save. 
this one you have an arch iso device thing so this one control c and control v safe carly 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 append all of that okay carly 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 and here we have the label again which i think is still the same as that one arch iso device uh, yep okay save again splash old and all that nothing to worry about packages is a choice i'm gonna put them in so foot is a terminal and another terminal there and I've already in my mind the Arclex Nemesis script that I use is going to remove it again. Simple as that. And these are all choices. The Lego blocks. What Lego blocks do you want on your system? Those. Then you get what? Have a look. What do you get if you install all of that? Where is the important bit? I don't see the important bit. Carly as at the end, yeah, sure, sure. Here, Nemo. So the cinnamon bit, but I don't see it's cinnamon. So find cinnamon. There he is, cinnamon. Right. So basically, we've chosen for another desktop. We have had XFCE in Carly. We have had Plasma. Now we choose cinnamon. What we do is just choose another block, a Lego block, a package, whatever you want to call it. It's simple, isn't it? arch pacman.conf has been changed we know that the space they don't like spaces so we do we want to have all the, the equals under one line so we're going to keep that in color we do like color this is text we don't want this text check space panel downloads is eight we want it we ate and we love our little candy that little pacman in when it downloads and all that so all of this is already fixed core testing we've done already this change core and extra testing and extra we've done it we've done it we've done it we've done it it's all right already last time profile def so on in this regard there was some some changes i believe but um pop 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 we don't really see it now but here we just changed names and they're using source date epoch thing we just take the date and the year and month is good enough for us so date year and month uh -huh. okay but i thought it was an experimental script which i don't see now and we are at the end of our comparison so what you do is you reload workflow right we reload uh, refresh comparison and you check again but this time from bottom to top and see if you skipped anything if you made an error somewhere because it all matters i need to have a look at the arch iso because i believe i've seen something that we don't see now and i want to be sure so user share these guys compare you can go now this relang thing this relang thing was it not in relang what did i see <laughs> <sighs> right looking for something that i'm missing projects 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 github Arch ISO, git faint or git ahead choose and there's something about the profile that I thought was changed already at 24 2 
no, this is not a good search. These are the packages. Here's the arch ISO label that goes out. The class. Where did I see it? This one. Ah, it's in the baseline. Okay, so this is something else. So they've, this is the code they were talking about. Increase errors, baseline profile by using extreme LZMA compression level and enabling experimental compressed fragments and data deduplication features. But it's not in ours. We have the relang. This is the baseline, right? Does not concern us. Good. So it's not here. They play around with that setting somewhere else and we'll leave them at their, well, play, <laughs> I guess. So bear with me. I'm going to check if I made mistakes. From top, bottom to top and top to bottom. Check again, check again, check, check. Never trust yourself. These are all the green stuff, meaning they don't have it. So the cow space is extra, copy to RAM is extra. We want to, to not copy to RAM, and that's why the N is there. Don't do that. Don't do that. Gives us issues with color mines. I just check the names. Eh? Arch links is changed in Carly. And if that's all it is, fine. Grub. And yes, here it comes a little bit complex, but Arch Linux, Carly, Carly. Cowspace Extra, Carly, Carly. Cowspace Extra. And then different order of things. Speech. Never used the speech. Well, once. I was <laughs> rolling on the floor laughing, right? Not needed for us. But of course, interesting for others. And all that, blah, blah, blah. Shadow we've seen, files we've seen. We have to know what it is. Host name, just a small change. So the NDNS is there. And we'll see how it behaves eh? by testing and building. That's all different. In Carly, as well as in ALCI, it is our intention to follow Arch Links as closely as possible, not completely blindly, but certainly more blindly than on Alex, where we really make our own decisions. And here we start off with how, what's given, right? What is Arch Links doing? And let's test it, ALCI. We followed exactly as well, but not on Arkle. Okay. Done. I've checked everything. Yep. Next thing to do. Look at that. Old T trash. Old paper is out. And she's in. <laughs> Welcome. So we got the Carly 12. That's different, is it? Check again. When I when do I check? When I'm, I'm building. So you can up the different code. And all you need to say, this is Arch ISO 71-1. Oh, well, typo there. But um, what we should also do is say in here that we have 71 now. Otherwise, it will give a text uh, rather colorful I think red text saying the difference eh, between the numbers alerting you that the 
Arch ISO has been refreshed, renewed. Voilà. So 71-1 in scripts. And you can follow along with your code. If you say, okay, I've changed this, I've changed that, then here's my typo, but with all the changes. This is what I changed. And again, maybe not right now, but if this is building, and this reference is the same as that reference, meaning it's green. Arch ISO has the correct version continuing, and otherwise it will say it has a different version and is red, and this will continue as well, right? So it's not gonna hold, but alert you to the fact that what you're using is something uh, different. So there we are. It's gonna build already our stuff. If the keys and all that, the five lines we need, one, two, three, four, and off we go. He's installing. Now it's about the time to have a look at um, what do we change. So open with git ahead. Move this one to page number two if we can. I'm gonna move you here, and then I'm gonna move you there. And then you read again. Huh? So multicast DNS. Um, we had a user like not uh, two, three days ago, or something like that. Issues with the internet, right? Maybe this will solve his issues. Seems to be hardware dependent as so many times. It is not because I don't have issues that others may not have issues. Hardware. Next are class, class, class. The changes that we see on Arch ISO should be reflected here, right? So the new foot here was turned here. That's just a new line. Changing this into that, this into that, this into that, and that's it. And then we have arch migration, which is, well, my previous post. And so we added the testing and the extra testing and all that. Community being out. And we went from five to eight for parallel downloads. Me, my size, me personally, I have now 20. And do see there is an uncommitted change, which means I need to up the thing. So Carly up, and that was uh, Arch ISO version. Voilà. That's online. So what I what you see online is what I have on my PC, and you can start learning, building, uh, whatever you want, and. Uh, Carly will be uploaded a little bit later, but I'll just end the video here and install it in the next video in VirtualBox and see what happens. Trial and error. A new way, new config, and the config we've went over it three times now, four times even, if you count Arch ISO with it, right? So that's it. Let's try this. Cheers.